And welcome back to Music Free Gaming. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. It is, in fact, a deed day to be fabulous on. Fortunately, you all have got that covered. You've got that whole fabulous thing down. So, hey, it is great to have you here. And uh, <clears throat> let's see, what else is going on? I have an announcement later. Hey, nerd, how's it going? Welcome in, welcome in. Um... Yes, I will be announcing things later in the stream, so stay tuned for that. For those of you who remember actually having to tune a TV, it... Uh, yes, I am in fact that old. Let's get into some Minecraft. Ah, man. Also, some soda. Oh. I like ginger ale. It's tasty. All right. So... Last we left this, I was working on the cookie factory. So let's see if we can't get that sucker finished. Um, right, now I have a slight problem in that I have covered up many things, but hey, it's okay. You're making a stealth bomber. Well, that could be fun. All right, so step one here is gonna be trying to figure out how to get power to this thing. Um, All right, so let's go this way. Case chain drives are gonna be the way to go here, I think. All right, so that's gonna go that way. Like that. All right, cool. Hey, no worries. I was only streaming for another like half hour anyway, so. You know, you watch when you can and you know, don't worry about it. All right, so now let's see, where am I? Okay. So it looks like what I'm gonna need to do here is let's get our handy dandy. They're neither handy nor dandy. What is wrong? All right, let's see if I've got a crafting table. I do, wonderful. Ah, oh, man, using a crafting table like a pleb. All right. Grab a few of these. Okay. All right. And we'll throw that in. So I, I just need some gear boxes here. Because that's the only way I'm going to be able to... Or I guess it's not the only way, but it is probably the best way of getting power here. So that's going to go there and there. And... See? All right, I'm in the way. It's fine. I can come off this way. Or not. That's fine. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's a thing. It happens. All right. So I've got some issues with that and that. And. Ah, let's do it this way. Wonderful. All right. So the next thing I'm going to have to do. Is move some of this storage cable. So I think what I'm going to do here. Let's pop up here. Oh, uh, scaffolding. That's a thing I have. Nice. All right. So we'll pull that out. And let's just pop this across like that. And I need to do the same thing or something similar over here. Because I'm blocking the... I'm blocking the stuff. All the stuff. It's being blocketh. So much blocketh. Okay, so we'll just run power down that way, or storage down that way. Cool. All right, so those are linked up. That's linked up. Cool. Awesome. Oh, that one is actually chugging. Um, lever. Wonderful. Lever. Okay, cool. It's just dumping cookies on the floor. Everybody, panic. Oh, yeah. Yep, see? Cookie. Ugh, delicious cookie. I don't do a good cookie monster. You know, that would be nice if I did, but I don't, so, you know. 
All right, so that's going, that's going. And those are locked because of what now? Oh, right, because of other reasons. Sure. Right, and this one. Right, cookies. That's what I'm looking for. Cookie. That one's a regular cookie. Great. And... Yeah, and the others are what they are. Cool. So let's see. I'm going to need some storage under here, too. All right. Hang on. Let's let's get a clip. Clips are good. Who doesn't like a good clip? Many people, I'm sure. All right. Power is in place. Wasn't too bad getting it up here. I did have to reroute some of the storage lines. Uh, just come down and around so I can get the cable th or get the uh, shafts in. But these are all powered up. Now, the next step is output. And I think what I'm going to do... Oop, yep, cookies. It's, we're dropping all the cookies. I'm looking forward to tossing them later. Okay. No, that, that joke was not good. It was never good. I never should have made it. I'm sorry. We're going to... I'd like to say that we're going to have a higher class of humor here. We're not. What we are going to have is a double chest. And I think if I get some inventory hoppers, I can just connect into this chest and connect up to the storage right up here. So, you know, I think this would make a little more sense to run sideways. So let's get the... Uh, storage in place and then we'll turn the sucker on and see how this goes okay store that's the wrong box storage there we go hey frog hopper welcome welcome glad to have you back all right i hope your day is going well all right so we get some hoppers going there. And I think I can just run storage right down from here. Yes. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to break this just real quick. And then what I want to do is... Which one is which? Honey cookies and berry cookies. Okay. Nice. Ah, oh, this is such a mess. All right. Honey cookies. There. And let's say one of those. Uh, stack. 65. Okay. That's. Now nah, let's do 60. That's fine. And then this one is sweet berry cookies. And again, we'll make this one 60 as well. Okay. And then this one is set to regular cookie. We'll make it also 60. Nice. And I've got to turn this lever off. Oh, this is a beautiful sight. Look at all those cookies getting crafted. Oh, so tasty. So very tasty. Now, if I come down here. Yep, see, we've got cookies. We've got honey bottles, of course, that show up. Oh, man, we are cooking here. So let's actually connect this up. And now all of this should end up pumping into the storage. And... Holy cow. Oh, yeah, we are rocking the cookies. Nice. So as soon as that dumps all into the storage, we should be good. Um, I'm not sure it's going to keep up, but we're going to try. <laughs> oh, this is making so many cookies. Way too many cookies. That's all right. It's all right. We'll survive somehow. All right, let's take this lever off. Nice. Now, let's get some diorite and such so that I can decorate this. Um, Let's see. Yeah, this is going to come out. Okay. And that will come out over there as well. So let's go ahead and get our diorite and let's get this going. So... 
again, just going to continue the checkerboard that I've been doing all along because why change something that works, right? Oh, also, I should get a um, Dealy Bob. Hello, Dealy Bob. Gotcha. And a site casing. That's the Dealy Bob we're talking about. That's righty. All the Dealy Bobs. Okay. Dealy Bob that guy. And we'll Dealy Bob this guy. Okay, good. That one's already stopped. Fabulous. Oh, we're going to have so many cookies. Um, Let's see if I can just switch. Those are regular cookies. Oh, they're definitely going. What's still running over here? Oh, the honey cookies are still running. Okay, here, let's swap in some honey cookies. So, maybe get some of those in the storage. The good news is, once this fills up, everything will stop and drain cookies. Oh, we're going to have so many cookies. <laughs> they're not even nutritious. I don't know why I'm making them. I know why I'm making them. It's because that was part of the, the plan, is to make all the cookies. All right. So let's see, so that is cut. So cut's gonna go there. This looks like a tank. This is almost like as bad as the cables around my computer at work. Now, to be fair, my work computer is a mess because I'm at a uh, point where I don't care. Not that I don't care about work, it's that we're getting some renovations done here in a few months. And I'm going to have to pack up my desk anyway. So when I got my new computer, um, I didn't bother to worry about cable management or any of that stuff. All right. Nice. So that's going to go that way. Um, okay. Let's get the rest of the, di or the decorative nonsense. Oh, let's also maybe put some stuff back, huh? All right, I need some of this, and I need some of this, and maybe some of that, and I've already got the glass. Let's get some more glass. Okay. All right, so the tiles come across this way. Ooh, um, that just looks stupid. Let's do that. I mean, I guess technically some uh, crimsite would be the thing to do there, but meh. I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Polish deep slate comes down across the bottom like that. It's going to match all of the other stuff we've got going on here. Oh, right. Um, slabs. Let's get some slabs. Do I have them? I don't, but I can craft them real quick. Okay. One of those things is a crafting table. The other one is not. All right. Actually, I guess I can just leave the crafting table here. I may need it again in a little bit. All right. Which is fine. So what I'm going to do is let's uh, take these out. And what we're going to do is a fun little thing. So this is cut. So that's going to go there. And the polish is going to go here. So it continues the checkerboard. And then what I'm going to do is, since I'm going to be putting in the, the wall next to it, you're not going to see the bottom of these blocks. Which are going to make them perfect for... Uh, for this whole mess. And because they are slabs, the rest of the stuff is not going to... Right? See? Now it's a solid wall and it's not all stupid. Alright, see? Lovely. Alright, let's get some... Get the glass... Oh, I'm going to need some signs, too. All right. All right. Yep, see, that's just going to go in there like that. 
Yeah, it would be kind of cool if I could slip a little uh, crimside in there. Uh oh What did I do? I don't know what I did, but... Okay. All right, there we go. It's a little bit annoying because it's all uh, connected. I suppose I could have pushed it back a block, but it kind of matches what's happening over here too. So, you know. All right, fair. Oh, signs, that's what I'm looking for. Signs. Signs, signs, there we go. So this one is cookies. Those are just plain chocolate chip deliciousness. These ones are honey cookies. Okay. And then these ones are sweet berry. Berry is spelled this way. Cookies. Sweet. All right. That is looking, looking solid. Uh, where's my record button? There it is. And we are in good shape here. We've got signage in, decorations are in, and we're done making cookies. This thing has made so many cookies, and we are set. The next thing I want to make here, I think, is some pumpkin pie. Now, the pumpkin pie, I think I'm going to bring all coming off this side a little bit. Should be pretty, yeah, pretty normal, I guess. Nothing, nothing too crazy here. And then, yeah, that, that might do it for uh, the desserts that I'm going to be making up today. Yeah, there are a few other desserts that I could be making, but things like popsicles, but I don't have ice, you know, that stuff. All right, but the good news is the uh, pumpkin pie I can do with a mixer, so this is going to be fairly easy. All right, so that's going to go in there. Um, let's see, let's get this for a minute. Okay, now those ones I did do a little bit, oh, because I had a... Um, Right, right, because I brought in the brick on the, the side. I should do that here, too. Let's do that. I think this is going to look just a little bit better. That's polished deep slate brick. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think this will look just a little bit better. Okay. I mean... We can kind of still see the drop shoot, and that's okay. But I think I said overall, this is just going to be a, a nicer look. All right. That's not where that goes. All right. I don't know why Ride of the Valkyries is my go-to uh, piece of music today, but this is where we're at. Okay. So we're going to bring this this way. Cool. All right, so let's see. Bring this up like this. This is going to come across the top here. Yeah, nah, this is going to be, this is going to be fabulous. Now, the way this is going to set up is I think we're going to run run things across this way. So let's get our and oops, I need create mod stuff. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to need a couple of shafts. Um, let's grab a mechanical belt. 
Actually, I'm going to probably need a couple of belts, but... I mean, I know I'm, I've am i got a little extra weight, but I don't know if I need to wear two belts. Okay, that was stupid. Though, honestly, if you're out adventuring, like, cosplay type stuff, one belt to hold your pants, one belt to hold up your equipment, it's the way to go. Now, it's actually one of those things I, I saw... Um, when my dad was was a cop before he retired is he had his uniform and he had a regular belt hold, holding his pants and then that had a bunch of stays little snappy loops that he would snap his uh, equipment belt onto and that belt held the handcuffs and you know the magazine pouches and his holster and all that fun stuff so it made it a lot easier to uh, take all that stuff off when he got home. Okay, so I'm basically going to be doing that machine. Pumpkin pies are three items, I think. Yeah, pumpkin, sugar, and eggs. So that part's going to be easy. So let's do this. And actually, I want to change that. Change both of those, actually. All right. Rotate this way, please. Thank you. So it's three items. The uh, pickup thingy, right? The, the uh, yeah, that thing. Uh, and then the, that thing, the basin, right? So we got ourselves a funnel, a basin, and then one more output, so... Funnel, basin, output. And we may end up coming one more this way, so we'll see. But this is going to go this way. Oops. A couple more belts would be helpful here. Thank you. All right. Now, powering this is going to be great. <laughs> I need to be sure everything's going in the right direction. Um... I also am going to need some belts, and let's let's do this this way. Or some belts, some uh, something else. That's what we'll call it. I'm going to need something else. Okay, I think this is going to be the way to go here. Because um, I want a... Do I have a... Oh, no, I've got clutches right in my inventory. Perfect. Because, yeah, I think what I want to do is bring... Because, yeah, how do I do this? Let's not reinvent the wheel here. Um, I mean, this one has to cook, but... Yeah, I just brought power up... Yeah, from this belt, it looks like, so... All right, cool. So if I just shut that belt off, everything will be awesome. And looks like I can do this. Oh, oh yeah, this is going to be beautiful. Watch this action. We're going to tap that. Just like that, and everything is going the right way. Oh, that is beautiful. I love it when things work, right? I don't know about the rest of you, but having working hardware is actually kind of cool. At least I think so. So, you know, I'm... I'm happy with that let's come up here we'll get a little bit of uh we'll get some tunnels and it, the next step should be fairly fairly easy also hey i have exactly three tunnels this is perfect especially lego yeah man i built so much lego when i was a kid the lego sets we had were somewhat limited so i ended up building all of you know, designing my own sets and stuff, but just not exactly designing a set. It's like I had a bunch of blocks and I put together my own stuff. Okay. Cool. So that's going to go that way. Plop all that down. Oh, I need a pumpkin. I've got sugar. Hey, let's keep all of that. I've got sugar. I've got eggs. 
Definitely need those. Sugar, egg, and then I need a pumpkin. Yeah, my own creation. Exactly. Yeah, because see, when I grew up, the the block sets that Lego had available were fairly, I said, fairly limited. Um, I basically had, of course, all the regular flat and square rectangular bits, you know, all that stuff. But, and a few of the angled pieces and things, right? And that was great. But it wasn't a huge amount of variety. So anytime it, they had a Lego set that had a new style of cockpit or something, man, I was thrilled. Because I built mostly spaceships and fighters and stuff. <clears throat> okay, so that's going to go there. Oh, I don't have a basin. I don't have a mixer. I have totally not planned this at all. Despite actually having this on my checklist. Oh, this is a thing I need to make. Totally missed it. All right. Basin. Please to be making the basin. Awesome. Cool. Mixer. Now, Mixer needs one of these dealy bobs. Cool. And then it needs... Oh. Well. Gears I've got. Just, just craft a stack. Doesn't matter. All right. And there's a mixer. Cool. So, so now this should be, this should be easy. <clears throat> I keep telling myself that, but it actually will be. Oh, do I have, I don't, darn it. All right, well, the basin's gonna go there, which is fine. Um, ooh, do I wanna, Let's see you know what I want to do I want to move this I want to be a little bit more consistent with what I've got happening over there so yeah I'm gonna just slide all of this slide some of this over anyway um yeah what do I not need I don't know stuff stuff is not needed I'm doing okay uh, doing okay. I've been dealing with some back pain off and on the last couple of days. So I'm happy that that's gone. Now, one of these days, you too will be old, and it's not going to be any more fun for you than it is for me. <laughs> All right. So that's going to go there. But, yeah, it's... Uh, Come on, that's going to go that way. All right, so now I'm going to need the basin here. Okay, right, funnel goes that way. But, yep, that's eggs and sugar. All right, we are set there. Uh, let's, Those are going to come in that way. That's not where that's going to go, which is cool. All right, I'm going to need some Viridium here, but for now, that's going to be great. Ah. Oh, yeah, all the pie. All the pumpkin pie. It's going to be fabulous. So, yeah, I think this is going to come this way a little bit, which will be fine. If I can line up maybe with about here, that should, that should fill out this little section of the, the building nicely. Okay, so what do I need to do now? Oh, right, let's see now. Put all that in there for the moment. Um, well, I have so much, okay. I need three of these. Well, I'll probably need more, but for now I need three. All right, so what are we at here? We have Sugar, eggs, and pumpkin. Oh, okay. And we'll set that up to synchronize inputs so that everything comes in at the same speed. Cool. Sugar. 
egg and pumpkin. All right, and then the mixer is gonna go on top of this uh, basin. Cool. Now, what I don't have is something. What do I not have? Oh, right, a, a funnel. Whew, man. Actually, you know what? I'm doing really, feeling really good today. I don't know why. I mean, work was good. That's always exciting. Had some uh, stuff that I was trying to get figured out. I finally did, so that was cool. Okay, so Viridium's gonna go there, and I need a funnel. And this like funnel is perfect. It's one of the, the joys of dealing with tech. It's like frustration, frustration, frustration. It works, it's a miracle, it's the best thing ever. Um, <laughs> it's like you spend the whole time, it's like, this sucks, I never wanna do this again. And then it works, like, ah, oh, awesome, next project. Honestly, it's not that much different from doing redstone and stuff for uh, stuff here in Create Mod, but still, it's definitely a way I feel about some of this stuff. Okay. So, let us see now what else is going on. So, that's going to go there. That's going to be this. Let's, um, oops, I need this. All right, I just want to expand this out a little bit, All right? Because that's going to go there. So what I'm going to need is, so the walls are going to come across this way. Okay, and then this is will just pop up like that. Cool. Oh yeah, that's that's going to be fine. We are going to rock this. All right, so next thing I'm going to need is a is some storage, and I need to link this. So output. Need output. Oh, any of you, does anybody still watch Short Circuit? Anyone remember that movie from the 80s? Is it just me? That was a fun movie. Okay, I think a barrel is going to be sufficient here. I'm not doing anything crazy. My kids always laughed. There's a scene in Short Circuit 2. It's not the only good scene in Short Circuit 2. Uh, when here comes Johnny Five in need of input. And he finds a library. Or a bookstore or something. And reads every book in the bookstore. And it's like, lots of input. It's like, yep. My kids are all about that life. <laughs> oh, this is going to look so good. Um, yeah, I guess I could put this here in the middle. That'd be fine. Um, the only drawback is that... That's a really long way. I can... Doesn't matter. I can add redstone. We're good. We're good. Everything's great. Everything is awesome. All right. Done with all of those. All right. So this is going to go here. I don't need radios. I just need to run redstone down this way. And just run it across. Okay. So do I have bricks still? I do. Cool. All right. Um. Oh, what do I need? I need... What are these guys? All right, because that's going to go not that way. All right, uh, cable would be a plus. Everything is cool. All right, nice. So that's going to go that way. Did I just drop that in there? I did. Cool. All right. So this is going to be our pumpkin pie. Uh, I can't spell. Pumpkin pie. And again, I don't think we're going to need more than a stack. Yeah, we'll just make it 64. Okay. 
Cool. So that's going to go there. I'll need to connect this up a little bit. Which I think I can do that way. All right. And now, let's see if I connect up something. Do I need to connect a thing? So the announcement, I think I'm going to be making here maybe about an hour. We'll see. Prob probably an hour. That's the wrong thing. All right, so that's going to go there so that we're sucking everything out of this barrel. Wonderful. And in fact, I should be able to connect this up just like that. All right, and then those will connect over that way. Cool, let's get some redstone in place. I don't know if I'm going to need a repeater. I'm going to grab some anyway, just to be sure. Um, okay. Right, so if this is set to less than 64, do I have more than 64 pies in there? Do I have a pie? All right, we're just going to set this to stone for the moment because I know we've got stone in there. Oh, right, nothing's in there because it's not connected. Righto. Okay, let me just turn the machine off for a minute. I just want to be sure that uh, that's the wrong thing. It's wrong. Um, you know what? Just to make life a little bit easier on myself later. I know, I can in fact do that sometimes. Um, right. Let's go ahead and connect this up. This will... Wow, I'm really bad at placing things. Okay, so that's going to go up that way. And then I just need to connect it to the storage over here. All right. Cool. So we're just going to run this. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. Sixteen? It's enough. Okay, that's lovely. It's redstone on stone. Stupid, but hey, you know, that's fine. All right. Cool. So now we should be set. We've got some output. We've got the chest, Dealy Bob, here. Oh, the mixer doesn't have power. Let's see about that. Okay, so I'm going to need one of these guys. I'm going to need one of those. And I don't need the repeater. All right, so grab those. And I'm going to need some shafts. All right, yes, this makes sense. That's going to go there. That'll go there. Take a vertical gearbox here. And just like that. Let's get um casing so that I can cover up all this stuff. Okay. All right, we'll just uh, cover all that stuff up. It's not going to make a whole lot of difference, but it is going to look a little bit better once I get all of this in place. Okay, sign. Pumpkin pie. Sweet. All right. Nice. Well, the machine is done. Say, isn't it look lovely? This is the same basic machine I've got in a couple of other places. Got hoppers coming out. This, uh, this dealy bob here, this tunnels. We'll make sure everything comes out evenly to come here in the mixer. So now all I need to do is let's uh, set this. So if I need greater than 64 pies, it will stop. And yeah, there we go. 
can see the pies coming out and they're going right into the storage system. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Time to get this guy all decorated and that's one more dessert done. Which of those to fly? I don't know. The planes I like to fly are not in games anymore, it turns out. You don't see a lot of uh, F-14s in uh, games these days. Looks like a it's a shredder. Yeah. Nope, it's just it's just mixing. It, it's it's all the mixing. All right. So what do I need here? I need this. I'm gonna need some viridium as well. Okay. So the viridium. It's gonna go here. Hang on, let's put everything away. Okay. The viridium is gonna go here, like that. That goes there, this one goes here. Just like this. Oh, there is an F-14, nice. See, I grew up in the 80s, and the Tomcat was just one of those planes that was everywhere. It was great, it was one of my dreams. When I was a kid, I wanted to fly them. Partly because I watched Top Gun way too many times. But still. Alright, so let's go polished. Polished. Cut. Cut. But No, it, oh, such a it's such a cool plane though. The variable wings and all that good stuff, man. I love it. But it has been superseded. There are so many better planes these days. You've flown a plane in real life? Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? I did that too when I was about... Um, oh, I was probably 12, maybe? Something like that. I was too short, though. I couldn't quite uh, reach what I needed to... I couldn't, couldn't quite see over the instrument panel. And that was that was disappointing. They said, you know, why don't you come on back when it's a little older? And turns out that never happens because of reasons. But all right, nice. That's going to be there. <clears throat> it's always something I wanted to get back to, but never really did. And now that I'm old enough that maybe I could potentially, you know, learn to fly, get get some uh, flying lessons and stuff, I just don't want to spend the time on it anymore. The fun bit about that whole thing, too, is it turns out I'm too tall to fly a Tomcat. There we go. Oh, the Reaper. I had a, uh, I had a poster of the uh, Tomcat. With the, I forgot what the squadron was. It was the Jolly Rogers. But, uh, oh, so that was, <clears throat> that was fun. I was, I was all about that uh, Navy life. But again, I was, I think I'd watched Top Gun just a couple too many times. I think that'll do it. Everything should be taken care of. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Oh, and another one gets checked off the list. You know, this area is looking... Well, it's almost looking good. I think what I want to do is let's get in... Let's get a new floor in place so that this area just starts looking a little bit nicer. Because right now, it, to be a fair, this is an actual health hazard right here. So let's get some flooring done. Oh, but oh, so much fun, though. Man, I loved all that stuff. All right, first off. 
Let's put all of this away. I'm not going to need it now. All right, and let's get some more diorite slabs and things. I think what I'm going to do is... Yeah, I think I'm going to just end up building walls that are going to connect here to the elevator. Oh, Jolly Roger's on the, on the FA-18. Nice. Yeah, that was one of the squadrons that used to fly off the USS Nimitz when that was still an active carrier. But Oh yeah, man, I was I was all about that. Okay, diorite. What do we got? We should have Oh yeah, we've got lots of slabs here. We'll just use slabs for the floor. If I need more, I'll come and get more. Yeah, that was one of the fun stories, too, about Top Gun. The only actor they had that was actually short enough that he could have flown an F-14 was Tom Cruise. Everybody else was just way too tall. Do I have some of that? Okay. Yeah, let's uh, put that in there, too. Okay. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and take out this top row of stuff here. All right. And this should be good. Now, the fun is I'm going to be wanting to sneak a little bit of lighting back behind here. I don't want to depend on the uh, system full lights. But, okay. Okay. Polished and cut. All right. Also, let's put this glass away. Yeah, see, I think... Oh, this... Darn. Oh, it's not a... Oh, actually, what I could do... So it would be kind of nice, but uh, that's going to be in the way anyway. So, all right. I may just have to close that elevator, but... <laughs> Launched you to the moon. Nice. All right. Yeah, boy, I, I spent so much time reading about why did the carriers need catapults and the original American aircraft carrier, the USS Langley, I think it was, it was just... Uh, which is a, was just a converted freighter, I think it was. They just put a, they just put a deck on it. <laughs> yep. I was I said all about the, all about that stuff, I, and I had flight sims, man. Some of them, are, I think you can still actually get them on Steam. Uh, more or on GOG. There's one is um, F-117A, which was stealth fighter bomber missions and things like that. And... Oh, yeah. Landing on the... Yeah, I've heard one of the pilots describe carrier landings as just... It's just a controlled crash every time. Yeah, flight sim, yeah. And, yeah, because I, I used to play a bunch of those, and F-117A was, was really good. Um, oh, there was one, I forgot which one it was that I played that had, um, there was like World War II fighters. Um, I had a couple that were, um, oh, they, they were f they had F-14 Sims, basically. Um, Pops been a real-life 747 pilot? Yeah. Okay. So that's going to go... Let's, let's torch up down here so we don't accidentally spawn mobs down there. Okay, cool. And playing one on Roblox, huh? 
But yeah, so there was, was all that fun and but the game that I played the heck out of was it was actually a series of games. It was the X Wing and TIE Fighter games. Oh yeah. Makes sense. Seven forty seven is a, a nice plane. Seven thirty seven could be fun if they could keep the door from falling off. Great. But no, I played the heck out of X Wing and TIE Fighter. Man, those were so fun. Played um oh, they had one that came out here not too long ago. Star Wars was it Squadrons, I think it was. Which uh fell right into that mold. That was a lot of fun to play. Just played that one off stream. That was that was cool. Should try Roblox. Yeah, nothing about Roblox interests me, so I haven't uh, I haven't looked into it. Since Roblox was more a it's less a game in and of itself and more a platform for other people to make games. Which is cool. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is coming down here, run this across this way. Okay, take out a bunch of stuff coming along here. I'm not 100% sure I want that pillar there. That was just a, that was more a marker than anything else, so it could very easily move. Okay. I kind of want to close that off. I just don't know how I want to do it. Also, I don't know what I want to do for the roof here, but I should do some form of ceiling. Probably come in with some more diorite, to be honest. But I'd really like to clean this area up. It's definitely got a... I'm a disaster vibe to it. You know, I was going to make like an ex-girlfriend joke, but yeah, my exes were all pretty cool, so. And, you know, I've been married for 20-something odd years, so I don't think that, uh, I have no idea what's going on with most of them these days. All right. Boy, how long have I been married? It's 96, so... <laughs> Math is a thing. 27... Shoot, it'll be 28 years this year. Wow. That's a... That's a time. Let that be a lesson. If you can find somebody who can stand you for 27 years, you are... You are winning. <laughs> Okay. Ah, all the gears. Okay. So we'll just get all of this across this way. Okay, so that's going to go like that. Cool. All right, now, I was half tempted to actually uh, fire up a time lapse of this, but it's hard to do a time lapse inside. You know, there's just too many things to get in the way of uh, of the camera. All right. So there we go. Get all this stuff in place. by my kids. Oh, yeah. Well, when I was a when I was a youngin, 
One of my favorite books was a uh, collection of poetry by Shel Silverstein. I think the book was called Where the Sidewalk Ends. Um, he had a couple, and I had a couple of the books, so I don't remember exactly, but I did read Where the Sidewalk Ends a lot. So it wouldn't surprise me if that was what it was. But there was a poem in that book called Sister for Sale. That was all about a brother trying to sell off his... What he called his whiny sister. As a... As a kid who had uh, four sisters growing up, I kind of felt that. <laughs> I mean, I joke about it. Actually, my sisters and I got on pretty well. But... Most of the time. I can't say that we were perfect, or we always got on, but... Do you only have one? Yeah. It's the joys of blended families. My, uh... My mom and dad divorced when I was young. And... You know, when my mom remarried, she had... Uh, a number of kids with her new husband, so. Which, you know, was fine. I liked my stepdad, and my sisters were cool, so. Again, cannot complain. Um, except about the very small amount of uh, diorite I've got. Oh, well. Your parents aren't? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you deal with it as you can. I mean, obviously, the ideal is to... for families to stay together, but... But, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work out. All right, I mean, you know, my, you know, what if my daughters was married and divorced? So, you know, it, it happens. Fortunately, in her case, they didn't have kids before that fell apart, so. All right. Here we go. We're getting all of this in place. This is... This is going to look a lot nicer once all the... All of this cave stuff is taken care of. You know, they've got the floor in. And it's, like I said, I've got to do something about that ceiling because... I've got the pipes all going through there. It just... It just looks bad, so we'll get there. All right. Progress is being made, I, I'm fairly certain. All right, let's, let's do this road and I'll go up and get some more diorite. Mm. Man, this is already looking better. Um, okay, this, this was all going to come across this way, so we'll keep that theme going. Yep, so I'm, I'm thinking about half an hour from now. I need some more. Yep, I'm thinking half an hour now. I'd really like to get this floor and stuff done before then, but we'll see. How's it going, Carp? Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. Hope everything goes well with you. I don't need this anymore. All right. Let's grab ourselves some more diorites. Okay. Right, I guess I'm going to have to craft more. 
That should be, I hope, enough. All right. Cut and polished and cut. Cut and polished and cut. Um, if I need more, I know where to come get it. Ack, that's the wrong place. I need to come down here. I'm glad I put that little door in there. That that just keeps all, all sorts of everything tidy. Oh, deep slate. I need deep slate tiles. Okay. Deep slate tiles. All the tiles of all the deep slate. Oh, heck, I've got a bunch. Cool. That'll make things easier. Uh, this place will look will look nice when, uh, when it gets finished. Have I done anything on the clock tower? Not today. It's all it's all done, which is cool. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna want a pillar. Flying up. Yep, I fixed this one, which was off center. Can't believe I put the stupid thing off center. But, yep, so the clock tower is there. All right, so let's see now. Sleeping, sleeping is good, big fan. Okay. I do not have any more crimson pillars. That's okay. Let's get this guy in place. All right. And the other one, those are the polished script. Oh, that's more polished. Uh, cut. Cut once. There we go. Cut. Somebody yell cut. Oops, those are in the wrong place. Yay! Let's hear it from putting blocks in the right place. I don't know if this is something that, you know, maybe it's just me. I have the hardest time getting blocks in the right place sometimes. Hammond, Hammond. Yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's one of those games I loved playing when when uh, when I was doing improv was director. It's a it's an improv game. You've got three performers. Actually, you got four performers. One of them plays the director. The other three are actors. And then you've got a scene. You know, you, the audience gives you a. I don't know, they give you some sort of prompt, and then you do a scene. And then the director comes through afterwards and said, Nope, let's try it in a different genre. And so you do it in a different genre, the same same scene. It, it, got, it got fun and crazy. I liked playing that one. Okay, so that's polished. That one. Beep, 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 beep. There we go. All right, yeah, this is this is doing okay. Let's get a little bit of. Oh, yeah, this is all gonna have to get covered up because man, that looks bad. Um, let's get some more crimsite pillars. Fortunately, that should be really easy. It's not too high up, so it'll be easy to place blocks there. You know, crimsite. Don't have a lot of crimsite. I think I've got enough, though. At least enough for this project. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is let's... We're going to bring the crimsite right down like so. 
the same thing on all four corners because consistency is cool. All right, now I'm not sure actually what's going to happen over here. So for now, let's just, we'll just put another pillar there <laughs> so that they're even. <laughs> okay. And yeah, this is going to go here. No matter what other machine happens in this area, that's going to, be like that. Let's go ahead and put this. Um, yeah, I should put a floor in, but we'll worry about that later. Um, let's see. Let's get this wall done that's over here on this side by the elevator. Okay. And we'll do the same thing. It's just going to be polished walls here. That needs to not be there now. Okay, and I think I did the same thing along the top. Most of this is, yeah, most of that's the polished. Okay, polished deep slate wall. That's what I'm looking for. All right. And then take the brick. We'll just lay it in here. Now, I could potentially place another farm or f factory of some sort in this gap. Um, I don't know what I would put there yet. So for now, I'm just going to brick it in. Okay. And said I could do the same thing back over here. I may do that. Let's, let's just do that for now. Like I said, I've got some other machines that I could put there, but for now, let's just not stress about it. I, of course, have changed blocks here a couple of times. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just do this. I think the way I've been kind of doing it is the polished blocks where I've got equipment. And, uh, the other, oh, I'm out of wall. Or I will be once this is placed. Ah, all right. Well, that's fine. Let's uh, see what I've got. I may have more down here, but I don't. That's cool. That's cool. I have so much deep slate, though. It is crazy. Yep. Man, I was I did. I always wanted to be a pilot growing up. It was um it was definitely high on my list of things to do. It's tile. But yeah, it just never really never really ended up there. I don't need the tile. I need brick. Okay. Brick. And that's regular deep slate. Uh Right, got brick. I need polished. That would be that one. Cool. And the regular deep slate can go away. All right, so let's get down here and I'll call the elevator back. Sure, why not? Catch your 170 fly without nose diving. Nice. Oh, that was one thing, man. I'm sure I gave my flight instructor fits when I uh, when I would fly because, man, I came so close to hitting that stall warning so many times. You know, okay, let's do it this way. Uh, no! Okay, that's fine. I can go back there. I just have to turn it around. There we go. See? Easy. Ah, no, stop that. Okay, so I do need to rename this one. This one is zero. This is the factory. And we're just going to open the north. Which way am I facing? Facing south, so north side only. I think that'll 
that'll work out better and then that goes there okay do i know what an f f117 looks like oh yeah big delta shaped fighter nice plane not the most responsive in the world as i recall but to call it a fighter is a little bit uh yeah not <laughs> I think what I'm gonna have to do is let's we have to change this out here. If I'm gonna be putting in a ceiling, this is all gonna have to change. Find them cute. Yeah, they're nice. Quiet planes too, which you'd expect from a uh, stealth. But we had one uh, buzz and air show I was at one year. That was cool. All right, so this is all gonna have to come out. Get our tiles. Okay. So we'll bring the tiles this way. All right. And then we'll just bring that like this. Okay. All right, that's at least looking consistent. Nice, now let's get some uh, some of this going. All right. Hmm. I think I want to bring the. Uh, do I want to bring it across like that? I think I do, but I think I may want to get slabs for that. All right. So let's get some. Yeah, I definitely want to start pulling some of that out, but let's go ahead and just... Okay, get this in place. All right. And, oh, I should do the same thing over here. Let's change those out. Okay. Bring that across like that, and then this... We'll go like that. Okay. Now, a door there would be excellent, but with the walls here on the side, it's going to be a little funky. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get the timing down. That screwed that up. Okay, let's go fix this one. Yay! It would see this would be a little bit nicer if I could get the if I had room for the birch ceiling. But I've got all of the uh, storage cables and stuff, so that's just gonna have to wait, or not so much wait as not actually happen. That's the the reality of that. Yeah, see, I grew up, well, I, I grew up in the 80s, and so was it 91? It's the ugliest wood type? There isn't an ugly wood. No, I think it was 91 was Desert Storm, which is the first time the stealth really, um, really saw combat and uh, did very well. Not that Iraq had... Uh, most uh, craziest air force in the world, but you know. Nope, there are no ugly blocks in Minecraft. There's just some blocks that are easier to use than others. And some, like birch logs, are harder to use. But they're not ugly. stuff in said so, and what's cool is when you can get them get the blocks working where you want them to to go oh it just it's sweet it is so sweet
All right. Doing on time. Doing okay. See, I'd, I'd like to get all of this done before I get to the announcement, but... We'll see. Okay. Oh, this is looking so much better. Despite the uh, floating blocks. I, I need to fix the torches, but... Oh yeah, I get the ceiling here. This is looking nice. Obviously, I can actually walk on this floor without falling in. Oh yeah, get some... Get the ceiling in place up here. Oh, this... This is going to be really nice to walk through. Oh, so nice. Let's get the rest of that done. Okay, so that one's going to go there. Oops, not that one. So yeah, the... The F-117 was all over the news. Uh, boy, that ship... Somebody had the wise idea, and I use wise in air quotes here, to give that sucker an F designation, meaning it's a fighter. There is nothing fighter-ish about the F-117. It is. That is 100% pure bomber. I mean, okay, it might be able to dogfight a little bit if it had to, but... Not really. <laughs> it's not like the modern ones, like the F-22 and F-35 that are, those are actual fighters. Though I suppose it's smaller, the F-117 is smaller than a B-52, so. U-2, I have not actually, oh, you mean the, the old school U-2. That the that old spy plane. You want to see a really sexy plane, like so sexy I could get you know my channel struck or something. See, uh, SR seventy one. Oh, that was a sweet plane. That that was such a sweet plane. The first first plane that had any actual stealth technology and not because it was necessarily designed to be stealthy but because of the uh, carbon fiber they used to make the airframe yep oh man that was fast and the sucker it leaked like a sieve when that thing was on the ground Oops, those are in the wrong place. When the SR-71 is parked, the fuel tanks leak. And it's just... kind of by design. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm sure if they had a... they would have preferred it to not leak. But because of the way they deal with the uh, air pressure and stuff when they're... or lack thereof at the altitudes that they fly at. The tanks seal when they get up at altitude, so... To make planes, huh? Nice. Yep, I've got an excellent book. Uh, don't know if I've got it... I think... polished? Uh, yeah. I have an excellent book. It's called The Skunk Works. Um, Which, do I have it? I don't think I have it on the shelf behind me. Mm. No, I must have it on a different shelf. Uh, but it talks about the development of the uh, SR-71 and then the F-117. Oh, that was, it's an excellent book. Talking about uh, plane design and stuff like that. Excellent book. Highly recommend it.
think the author he ended up managing the Skunk Works, which was a Lockheed Martin development place. I think he actually designed the engines for the SR-71. Color of time. I was going to say, that sounds like a Discworld book. But that's the color of magic is, is Discworld. First one in, in Discworld. Which is also a fun book. First, the book I'm reading right now isn't published yet. It's a, I'm a beta reader for my daughter who's working on her second novel. And the book's been really good, so. I enjoy what she writes, so that's, that's a win. Doing on time. Ten minutes till the uh, announcement. Hack! I'm out of blocks. I'm so out of blocks. I need, I need two more polished slabs. That's annoying. Okay. Polished slabs. Okay. There we go. Of times about the events 1860 to 1960. Oh, okay. Sounds like a uh, history of uh, race relations from the Civil War to the uh, 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 the uh, stuff from the 60s. Though so that stuff, like you know Martin Luther King and all that fun stuff. All right, yeah, said I'll just block that in while we're, while I'm waiting for stuff. All right. So not perfect, but uh, it's definitely got, got something going for it anyway. So uh, we'll go and bring this here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and clean this out too. This should... At least get the floor going here. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll look all right. Loads of pictures have been colorized. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I, I love to read. I don't read as much as I would like to sometimes because I've got, uh, well, I've got a bunch of adult type things to do. Plus, you know, stream and other stuff. Diorite. I need more diorite. But, ah, I love to read. I mean, I've, I've read so much. I used to be a big Tom Clancy fan when I was a kid. So much Clancy. I can't read it, read his stuff. I mean, obviously he, he's dead, so he's not writing a lot of new stuff. But I can't read a, the, a lot of the Clancy stuff these days because it's... A lot of it's too real. <laughs> and uh, I read to escape, you know, political dis disasters. And his books are too accurately represent that stuff. So Brian Faulkner. Why does that name sound familiar? I feel like I've read something by Faulkner, but I could be wrong. All right. Yeah, I can't meet my favorite author because he's dead. I've read Ben Bova. I haven't heard the name, but I've not not read any of those. Hmm. You know, I was to say, do I want to close this off? But I don't think that. I don't know how we want to get around the rest of this factory yet, so we're going to leave that for now. Might as well close that off because, well, that's not going anywhere. Yep, 
Um, well, I mean, I will eventually, I will eventually end stream. Um, now I'm going to go till now for another uh, 40 minutes or so, no matter what else happens. But I don't go there. All right. There we go. But, uh, see, the elevator is going to look a lot nicer, and I, I should actually just close up this side too. I, I know this side's got to be closed because this is all ending up uh, the back stuff. Just a bunch of uh, oops. That's not what I'm looking for. I mean, eventually, but not now. Let's get the top place first. Yeah, because this is all going to be inside this factory portion, so. All right. Okay. Yeah, that works. Nice little elevator here. Oh. And... Do I want to cover up that side? I guess I should. It'll look better. You know, sometimes it's like, do I want to do this work? Well, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. <clears throat> but that'll be good. I mean, the window is looking out into the factory, so not uh, not great. Let's see. Let's get let's get some iron bars and some lanterns. And the lanterns. Where was I putting them? The lanterns were up one, two, three, four, and then the bars. Okay. Where am I? Here I am. Iron bars. Oh, we need more of those. Probably. Well, we'll just craft up a zillion of them. And lanterns. Which, hey, I've got a zillion of those too. That's what happens when you train up villagers. What if I have to open it up? Oh, I have a pickaxe. <laughs> I mean, I could, because I can always come in here and I can just open it up and hit it with a pickaxe if I have to. Or take a pickaxe to this wall or, you know, any number of things. All right, so kind of going to go like this, I think. Not like that, though. Again, let's put this all in the right place. Um, yeah, I don't need them everywhere. That could just break it. Yeah. Yeah, just when I need to. And right, I'm not, I'm not dealing with anything uh, super critical back there. Plus, you know, I can get back and around that. Just around this side, so. Yeah, so it's nothing too crazy there. All right. So that's looking okay. I think I'm going to put one there. I am going to just frame these cows. They kind of seem like they need it. Um... All right, that's not doing too badly. Um, ooh, it's almost announcement time. More right of the Valkyries, because, you know, Valkyries are cool. I don't know. Wagner is a, I mean, he is a great composer, let's, let's be fair. Okay. Oh, man, the ceiling is in, and this is looking so much better. So there are a few places where I may want to bring, like, like, like that, bring some, some, uh, like, support beams or something across. But, oh, this is looking pretty good. I think I'm going to do that right here. Let's, let's go ahead and bring a little, uh, 
little support beam coming across here like this just because so I think it's gonna look a little bit better I could do let's bring one across here too okay we'll bring this across and boom all right yeah see just a couple of little details like that I've got a few other places where I can put some of those across but ah oh. Nice, nice, nice. This is looking pretty good. All right. Let's see. What place else I want to... I have some places I want to do stuff, but... Let's see. Oh, all right. So let's head upstairs. Let's head up here for announcement fun. <laughs> so much announcement fun. And take that out of my hands. Okay. <clears throat> uh, but first, I do need to record a... Well, no, this is good. All right. So are we all ready for an announcement? I mean, are we sure we're ready for an announcement? I mean, maybe, maybe we could be ready for an announcement, but, um, okay. Ah, <sighs> all right. And this is something, yeah. How do I make merch? Um, I design an image and then I upload the image and apply it to different products up on fourth wall. It's very cool. All right. We've made a lot of good progress today. Lots of good stuff. All the sweets. Unfortunately, I've got to make an announcement. Yes, it, it's deep and scary. An announcement. Dun, dun, dun. This is the end of the Going Green series. Yes, it's, it's sad and I wanted to do more. But I've run into a technical problem that I don't have a solution for uh, that doesn't involve completely rebuilding everything I've done. And I'm not going to do that. See, the problem I have is caused by Tom Simple Storage. And basically, my lag is through the roof. It sucks. And it's been causing me all sorts of problems. And again, I can't fix it without tearing out Tom Simple Storage and replacing it with something else. And unfortunately, the something else's do not fit in nicely. So this will be the final episode of Going Green. But never fear, something else is coming. So stay tuned. Join the Discord. I'll let the subscribers know early. <laughs> so, yeah, feel free to uh, subscribe over on Kofi or on uh, at Fourth Wall at ko-fi.com slash musicfreegaming or store.musicfreegaming.com and I'll let you know what's coming. I kind of have to know what's coming first, but I'll let you know. So, until then, this has been a lot of fun. Oh, I've I've had fun. I love Create Mod. I've loved this project. It's been great. But until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off. And that is the end of episode 15, which is the final episode in the Going Green series. So, yeah, it's uh it's a little I'll tell you, I am seriously disappointed in, in this. Um uh, yeah, and I'm gonna be streaming for another half hour so we can talk about the end of what's going on here. I am happy to answer any questions about it. It's happy to answer questions about anything really, but the problem I've got here, let me turn on I'm not sure how well you can see that in the top left corner oops um ticks a healthy server tps is 20 that is minecraft's normal um 
clock speed is 20 ticks per second. I'm getting eight. Okay, this sucks. You can see it, part of the effects here, like watch the clock hand. See how that it keeps jumping backwards and stuff? That's caused by the lag, right? Um, all of this down here, like right now, I should have lava buckets running around here. The reason they're not is lag. It's lag related. Minecraft is not updating. It's not getting the ticks through. And so the whole system just backs up. Okay. And really I've built with the, um, with all of the desserts and stuff that I've got doing, or that, that I'm making, that's probably a quarter, maybe, of all of the foods that I want to make. So you look at all of all of this, it's like, I need to make another, well, probably another 75 different foods. That's 75 more factories. And it's these guys. These, uh, these level emitters here and these hoppers, and, right? Those are, are just killing it. They're killing the, the lag on this. And unfortunately, it's not really, it's not, it's not really something that I can overcome with my computer. My computer is beefy enough here, right? I've got enough memory. I'm not, I'm not using a lot of Ram here. Um, 30% of the eight gigs I've allocated. Um, my CPU is not having issues. It's just these guys kill the lag on, in uh, in your world. Now I was looking at, um, what's it? It's AE2, um, Applied Engineering, uh, something Engineering 2, which has almost all of, the, has I think most of the functionality of Tom Simple Storage, and then some. It is a beefy mod, but I have to add at least one other mod because it uses energy. And well, there is a create mod uh, module that I can connect to it, and it will generate energy. It is extremely alpha in uh, for the fabric launcher or fabric loader. Because what I could do if that mod worked is I could tap into like my steam plant here, tap that into, um, you know, whatever the energy generation is, and I can generate energy to run the storage system. Okay, awesome. That's wonderful. But the mod is very, very alpha in uh, for fabric. And if I, were you, if I were running on Forge, that would be fine, but I could use it, but I'm not using Forge. So, yeah, that's kind of kind of where we're at. And it, unfortunately, the lag hits me in a lot of places, right? So that lava thing is definitely one. And then you can see it up here sometimes. Like, these doors should have already opened. Okay, they didn't, but they should have. Uh, every once in a while, like these machines get stuck, right? You'll see them, not that they'll have them programmed so they might stop on occasion, but they'll get stuck at like a weird angle, kind of about that angle. So it just sort of angles off this way a little bit. And yeah, at, that's a lag related problem. And so the, the idea that I would tr be able to add all of the extra machines I want to be able to do to make this all work, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I mean, you look around all of the stuff and all of the hoppers I need, I just, some of it, right, I could, in theory, Use create mod, right? Replace some of it with belts and get things in places. But stuff like this, 
right? Where I've used the hoppers to uh, feed things into the machines or just what I was doing here earlier today and getting all of the cookies and stuff in. This isn't easy to do in create mod. Oh, I mean, sure. I can, there are hoppers I can put in that are filtered and all that stuff, right? But getting the items to these areas is hard, right? I mean, it, there's just, a, I would need a lot more room than I've given myself here. And like, this is one of the reasons I liked using this. Like, oh, look at this. I could just tap these hoppers right into these automatic crafters, um, right? Just dump off on these belts, right? That's, it's super easy. Makes uh, getting all of the items where I need them to be just a piece of cake. I've got one big storage system. Everything's wonderful, right? I mean, this machine is just so simple. Hey, Sean, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. But yeah, because of the lag this stuff generates, everything just sort of backs up and it sucks. Oh, it sucks so hard. Because I, I had plans. I had plans for finishing all of the different foods in... Uh, the Farmer's Delight mod, but... And you can see how simple these machines are. If the... If all of the... Stupid storage stuff didn't lag out the world. <laughs> demons will take over Minecraft? <laughs> yeah. The lag demons. So yeah, it's just... So, yeah. Um... I said, I don't, don't know exactly what the next next series is going to be. So I'll announce that for uh, members, of, you know, on on, uh, on Kofi or Fourth Wall. Uh, if you link up to those, you can even uh, link your Discord to them and join the Discord section of the, uh, or the sub-only section of the Discord. But, man, this world was so fun, though. So, you know, I love this little area here. Yep, so this world is going to be is going to be done. I said I've got I'll I've now finished recording the video. Um Oh, I should probably Let's add a little bit of replay mod so that I can swoop around. But I love the way this area looks. How long is the stream live? Uh, I'm going to be going for maybe another 20 minutes. But, I, you know, I love... This honey farm was so silly to build, but... So it feels like I've got way too many pumps here. But, hey, they seem to get the job done. <laughs> I mean, my honey tank is full, right? So, the hives are full, but... I love the way this area looks. I like my workshop over here. Anytime I'm in Create Mod, I always end up building a workshop like this. Obviously not exactly like this, but something like this so that I can just get the tools I need or pull out whatever I need to, right? It's like here, oh, I need to strip logs or I need to crush things or I need to compress a bunch of stuff, right? Well, you know, eventually I end up building factories for a lot of stuff. But I there's always some one-off thing that I need to create. So, and of course a drill. <laughs> Gotta have a drill. So, yeah, this is... And so I had... Oops, let's head back up this way. I had some great plans. Um, right, obviously I've got these little things set up. I was tempted to put another one here. Like, um, honey glazed apples or something right there. But, uh, the other thing I was going to do that it was actually going to be part of this episode. Um, until I realized how bad the lag was and how much worse it was going to get and that there was no way to fix it. 
do mods get early stuff? No. Not really. I mean, they'll, usually I talk to them too, but, you know. Uh, but what I was going to do was I was going to build a garage into this area that was going to allow tra trains or trucks or something to head down into the factory, pick up whatever it was going to be needed, and run them over this way. Right, so it's going to set up some rail that was going to come this way. Um, so I'm not going to need that soil anymore. And then I was going to build a city over here. It's going to be a bunch of restaurants. So the trains would come around. They deliver the food for the restaurants. And then you can come into, you know, whatever restaurants. So it's going to be a candy shop and an Italian restaurant and right for all the pasta and things and. Yeah, some some nice, a little bit, yeah, something a little nicer that had some of the more involved meals, like, um, oh, like, what was I going to, like, some of these ones, like rust, roasted mutton chops or steak and potatoes, right? Some of that stuff. Uh, but, yeah, you know, I was just going to build out sort of this whole, this whole area here was just going to end up building out like that. Right, so I was going to come, because it's basically this island, almost. And that would have been a, that would have been fun, just running the trucks around the outside, probably, and then the the restaurants here in the middle was sort of a boardwalk of some sort, you know, coming around them. You know, little coffee carts and, you know, like for things like hot chocolate, apple cider, and things like that. But yeah, been fun. Yeah, yeah. Take care, nerd. Um, you know, I will be streaming Saturday, though. I might take a break from Minecraft on Saturday. I may play a little bit of uh, Speedstorm. But starting next week, as you see how long it took to eat that uh, that food. It shouldn't take that long. But starting next week, I will be going on whatever the new series is, so. Oh, that clock looks good. And I had so many things I wanted to do. Like, I needed to build a gold farm or a gold factory. I've got all the stuff for it. I just need something that will just generate gold. For, you know, golden carrots and things. And Yep, this was fun. I love the way this looks. Just all of the wheels here. That's just cool. But I wanted to build up the factory around here so that I could hide all of this hardware. Right, because I've got, you know, there's my cobblestone generators up there. Right, gravel, sand, right? Everything just sort of flows. And basically what I would have needed to do was copy this machine. This machine generates quartz and gold nuggets, but mostly quartz, just because that's how the what the drop rates are at. What I was going to do is duplicate this down here, but throw away all of the quartz and let it, let it just generate gold nuggets, which I would then compress into ingots, probably. I don't know. I need the nuggets for golden carrots if I were going to be crafting those, so... You know, which was going to be the plan. So, yeah, just all the, all the crazy fun here. And it's, it's a little bit sad because, you know, I just got, I just got my, uh, let's see, how do I get in here? Can I get in here? I think I closed it. Um, I just got my villager trading hall redone, right? That was... That was what, yet yeah, last last week's. <laughs> um Right, how do I get around? I think I can go around this way. No. Nope, I can't. <laughs> oh. Okay. 
Um, right. I guess I go back around the other way. Or maybe I can... St yeah, I can drop down here. There we go. So... And this, this dirt wall is just to keep anything from walking in. Anything that might actually walk in that hallway. But yeah, this was... There was some fun stuff. There were some fun things to build that were just... Some of them were silly and some of them were sort of a fun challenge. Ah. Right, like this uh, glowberry farm. Well, it turns out it wasn't too bad because you just used deployers, but... You know, that was a... That was a little bit of a challenge, and oh yeah, so much bone meal. Oh, it's all going here. Yeah, it's no wonder I can't catch up on bone meal. It's all going into storage. It's my frog. The <laughs> this is the last house of the village, right? Because this was a, uh, there was a village here. That's the last house. Yeah, it would have been nice to connect that to, but. So, now, what I will say, uh, this world will be available as a, as a download. Oh, do I still have signs on me? I don't. Let's go get some signs. I need those. Let's put the rabbit sign up. Not that it matters. So, I think I left him in the chest down in the factory. So, members on... Yeah, wherever, whether it's Kofi or over on Fourth Wall. The world download will be available to you for free. Um, not too long after I get this world all put together. Where did I put those signs? Maybe I put them away. Maybe I put them in the storage. Um, the world download will be available publicly for a, a small fee. So you, you, you know, if, even if you're not a member, you can still, there's still a way for you to get the, uh, to get the world if you'd like to uh, check it out and play in it and that type of thing. Oh, I'm going to stop off the villagers. No, let's do the rabbits first, then we'll go see the villagers. But yeah, I've been feeling the lag a little bit, and I didn't quite recognize it, because I've not played in a world where I've had that much lag, right? And, man, it's, yeah, it's been a problem. Oh yeah, the mushroom farms and the kelp farms are over here. And the sweetberry farm. Yep, got three levels of kelp going on. Oh, this was a disaster. <laughs> I mean, it works. And I think some of the problem I might have been having with it was because of the lag. Because it depends on... right. There's a lot of timing that has to happen with the uh, stone generator. Like, this should all be crushing right now. And it's not because... I think it's lagging out too much. Right. Go and let that uh, clock time out and we'll restart it and see if it fixes things. Yeah, it just... Yeah, so there it goes. So that's what it's supposed to do. But yeah, it's... Uh, But because it's lagging, all of the redstone is just stupid. <laughs> right? It just doesn't work. So, or it doesn't work as well as it should. Some of it works fine. But, but like the stone generator just doesn't work the way it should. So, yeah, it's... I wish there was an easier way to do it. And said so AE2 has most of what I'm looking for. But the 
to climb up the tech tree to a point I need to be to uh, actually start using it, that's going to take forever. And I'm just... And then so to rip out all of the uh, storage I've got going on, I don't even know if it's all compatible enough that I could just sort of drop it in as a replacement. So, you know, I've been was trying to be careful not to let create mod get crazy cuz you can get a lot of visual lag, you know, client type lag because of lots of moving parts, right? I did not expect all of the lag to come from Tom Simple Storage. <sighs> and to be fair, I wasn't expecting to use it quite as much as I was. It's like, oh yeah, this will just be for my storage system. And then I realized how nice it was to plug into everything else. <sighs> yeah, that was crazy. But, you know, when you get into the world, you've got all of the villagers here. You know, again, I, the tick lag is going to be so bad, I won't, wouldn't recommend playing in it very much but you know exploring checking everything out you know and who knows maybe your machine is beefy enough it uh can take care of it but i'm not memory locked and i'm not cpu locked so it is definitely a problem within minecraft so yeah lots of lots of fun and said i'm I'm disappointed. I'm, I I have to confess myself disappointed in that you know that I couldn't um, couldn't finish my goal of making everything in the Farmer's Delight mod pack. But you know we had a lot of fun, and you know whatever I'm doing next, I do know that it will be more of a vanilla series. So. You know, whatever I do next, it's going to be, it's going to be cool. And you know what? Let's, um, let's grab some chests, a, a couple of chests here, or maybe one double chest. A double chest would be helpful. Yes. Thank you. Let's come back in here by my bed. And what I'm going to do is... Yeah, let's just set up a set up a little bit here. Oh, and I got I should clean, grab my ender chest too. So that I can clean out all that stuff so that you if and when you do decide to drop in, you'll have all of my tools and you know, you won't be necessarily starting from scratch. Okay. That one shaft doesn't matter. Okay. You know, we'll, it'll be, uh, so it'll be fun. Just, uh, throw all of the, that in there. Grab the food, grab all of this stuff. I'm going to keep one of those signs. And, oh, yeah, take off all of this gear, too. All right. So there we go. Oh, hey, I guess I can put the... Let's put the shield in there, too. <sighs> so... Thank you all, again, so much for hanging out as... I went through this journey. I'm really, as I said, I'm really sad that I, this has to end, but unfortunately, technical problems are what they are. Next time, next time I do a series like this, I might pull out AE2. I'm a little hesitant to do so because... One of the things I like about Create Mod is how much like vanilla it actually is, right? It feels very vanilla, which is awesome. I love that because I like vanilla Minecraft. 
right? I like playing vanilla Minecraft. Create mod I love because of all of the uh, automation and things I get to do, but it feels like vanilla Minecraft. Once you start getting into the uh, all of the energy generation and all the stuff that's involved with AE2 and power and all that stuff, you know, it's like, It, it stops feeling like vanilla, right? What flavor is normal non-vanilla ice cream? It tastes like cream. It's milk flavor. <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, I like, I, I like the vanilla gameplay for the most part. I just like being able to do all this other stuff. And I was hoping that this would take another three or four months until... Um, Mojang dropped the 1.21 update with the crafter. So, yeah, no one wants to play chocolate in Minecraft. That's it. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, I did a little. And it said it was a lot of fun. And it wasn't until I started really stressing Tom Simple Storage that my uh, that my ticks just, the TPS just went, went in the tank. So, so it's cool. I will definitely be coming back to create because I love create mod, but I said, I, I think we'll be jumping into a vanilla series of some sort. And I don't know what yet. Um, I had a couple of random things bouncing through my head that I want to do. So, um, so that'll be fun. But at this now, it is really a time for, for, for me to be stopping the stream anyway. So Thank you all for hanging out with me tonight and uh, the sort of bittersweet night of, of uh, streaming and recording. And of course, there are all the socials. You can uh, follow me on all of those places. And until next time, whoop, hit the wrong button. But until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music for Gaming signing off. <laughs>